Hi, I'm Marshall. I'm the owner of Going Gear. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of Benchmade Gold Class knives, the 7505 models. So these are dual action knives, meaning they can be either manuals, so you can just open them up with a thumb stud, or they can actually be automatics as well. So they have a hidden mechanism that will open them up like automatics. Pretty interesting knives. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. So here you have the two versions of the 7505. We've got the 131 and the 132 in the packaging. I just wanted to show you what the packaging is like with the uh, Benchmade Gold Class stuff. It's a little bit nicer than what you get versus the regular just standard cardboard box that you get with most knives. I actually give you a pretty nice little uh, collector's case. Got magnetic closures on it. You got a certificate for the knife and then the knife itself, of course. And then a bag that actually has a gold logo on it versus the gray or whatever color they'd use on the normal bag. Just nice little touches, you know, showing you that it, you got a nicer than normal knife. It's uh, nice to see companies do stuff like that when they don't have to. So, here's the knife itself. Got the little dual action tab that they keep under the pocket clip. So the knives, most of the specs are the same. It's the materials that are different between the two. So you can kind of see, obviously, the appearance is pretty different. So the, uh, the 132 has the green G10 with the titanium. Both of them have the M390 steel and then the titanium uh, frame in addition to the parts where you can see the G10 or the lightning strike carbon fiber. So the 131 has the lightning strike carbon fiber and it's actually kind of cool because it has an inlay of the lightning strike carbon fiber actually in the blade itself versus a, uh, a cutout or a blood groove or whatever you want to call that on the 132. So nice little touches on both of them. Um, obviously a higher price on the 131 and uh, they were very, very limited, so they weren't very easy to get. They're making a decent amount of the 132, so these are a little bit easier to get. If you can get automatics in your state or country, <laughs> that is, because <laughs> that's always an issue. So let's talk about the mechanics of this. So these are dual action knives. What dual action means is they, they can be both manuals and automatics. So you've got a hidden uh, auto mechanism in here. And the way to activate it is this piece right here. What you do is you just slide it and you can see you get the automatic action. So you just pop this little piece down. You can see a little bit of movement in there and that disengages the lock and causes the auto to come out. And so this is a frame lock. So you just disengage the lock, close it back up and you hear it click in place. Uh, it doesn't do that when you use the manual. So you can hear when I'm just opening it up, you don't get that additional little cl click in place and that auto mechanism is not re-engaging. So when you need it, it's ready to go. Same mechanism on both of these. So you're not getting just a manual on one of these. Both of these have the same mechanism. So they both have that dual action mechanism when you slide that scaled piece down. So pretty cool feature. You know, most people look at this, they're just gonna see a big old knife because this is a pretty decent sized knife, but uh, it actually has that hidden little feature of being dual action. So you've got the automatic when you want it. All right, let's talk about the specs on these. And if it sounds like I'm just reading them off of the uh, Benchmade website, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'll save you a little bit of time uh, if you don't want to go to their website. So blade length is 3.9 inches. You got a blade thickness 0.15 inches. Handle thickness 0.536 inches. M390 steel on both of them, of course, of course with the uh, lightning strike inlay on the 131. 60 to 62 Rockwell, both drop points. 7.74 um, ounces on the 131, 7.89 on the 132, so slightly heavier, uh, probably just because G10 is a little bit heavier material than carbon fiber in general. All right, so overall length, 9.08 inches. So this is a pretty decent sized knife, almost four inches on the blade, a little over nine inches total length, and you got 5.18 inches on uh, the closed size. So pretty decent sized knife, definitely not a super compact knife. It's not massive. There are obviously bigger knives out there on the market, but uh, this is a pretty big beefy knife. You can kind of see it fills up a hand really well. Let's zoom out just a little bit. So you can see I mean, it fills up my entire hand with a little bit sticking out. I've got uh, relatively medium sized hands. So when I wear gloves, I wear mediums or larges. So I'll give you an idea of, uh, of what it looks like. And of course, same size and everything on both of these models. You just have the different materials between the two. So let's zoom in and just so you can see them up close a little bit better. So they made some really nice touches on these. I really like that inlay that they did. I love the look of the lightning strike carbon fiber. I think it looks really, really cool. And the anodization that they put on the 131 just to give it a nice little touch. 
stone wash look. They actually both have the stone wash look. They got that extra little touch of anodization on the 131, but still a good look on the 132, and it's about half the price, so a little bit more affordable, a little bit easier to get. Um, it just doesn't have some of the nice material touches that they did on the 131. But both have m 390s super high performance steel, really good cutting edge if you actually wanted to use these as a carry knife. Um, these are a little bit beyond what I would personally carry. <laughs> I would be afraid to carry a knife this expensive, uh, even though I own quite a few of them. I'm, uh, I'm kind of abusive on my knives, so something like this would probably, uh, <clears throat> you know, sit to the side or in a case somewhere. But, you know, if you do want to carry it, uh, they are a very nice utilitarian design. So you've got a nice cutting edge on there, nice handle shape. They're pretty comfortable, nice grippy materials on there. So you've got the G10 that gives you a nice grippy surface material. A little bit of jimping on the, uh, <clears throat> on the spine of the blade. Not so much that you're going to be, you know, shredding your fingers on there, um, but enough to give you a little bit of good grip. So it'll hold your thumb in place if you're actually using this as a cutting tool. Really nice clip on both of these. You can see it's actually screwed on there. Nice sturdy clip. See it's got a little bit of flex to it, but uh, it'll hold there on your pocket really, really well. Let's take a little bit closer look <clears throat> at the back side of these. You can see the uh, all the different angles and everything. Pretty cool how they integrated the titanium into the carbon fiber in the G10. It's got a nice look to it. All right, so there you go. Those are the uh, Benchmade Gold Class 7505, the 131 and the 132. We do sell these. Uh, we sold out of these pretty much immediately as soon as we got them. The 132s, they are making a decent amount of them. Uh, we generally don't put stuff like this up on the website, so if you want one and you're in a place where you can get them, shoot us an email or give us a call and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Thanks for watching, that's it. If you like my videos, you can subscribe and uh, see all the new ones when they come out. And if you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. Thanks for watching.